Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. It's a rainy day here in North Carolina and uh, so I thought I would not go out to lunch and I would just stay in and craft today. So this is a lunchtime craft with me. So grab your stuff and do some crafting with me if you're uh, at that point in your day or if you're not just sit back and watch and eat your lunch and <laughs> or your dinner or whatever and, or just relax. Uh, what I'm doing, uh, what I did this morning, I did a video this morning where I was using up little bits and pieces in my craft room and besides using up the bits and pieces I was cleaning up my craft room so when I was leaving for work I said I'd like to bring something something to craft during lunch today possibly and what do I want to bring and I've been wanting to uh, decorate these uh, this is a set of I got these at a thrift store a while quite a while ago probably a year ago or so but uh, it was a little set of cards and envelopes in their craft colored envelopes which I love and quite a few as you can see and then these red cards and uh, what motivated me was uh, I you know I put a card in each of my each of my uh, you know orders from Etsy my Etsy orders I write a little card a little note to people and so that motivated me because I keep running out of cards you know what I mean so I was like well I, maybe you know why can't I make some I make journals why can't I make a card and I have made little cards out of book pages so I did make those cards and I still have some of those and I do use those too. In fact, I've used quite a lot of them. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to make something different. I thought, well, I have these cards. These are actually, you know, I bought them as like journaling spots. I this was, was my thought when I bought them. Good journaling spots, add them to a pocket, add them to a journal. But I could make cards too. <laughs> and also what motivated me and inspired me was I got two cards at Christmas time. One from Aaliyah and one from Kathy D. And they were both really cute and really neat. And I just, you know, thought, well, you know, I need to make some cards. <laughs> I would really like to, you know. And I've watched a lot of a lot of YouTube videos on people making cards. And I learned that they use sketches. These things called sketches. And, it's, and it looks like it's a sketch is kind of a layout of the card you want to make. Maybe the front. Like on this piece right here, it looks like. Uh, to me, it looks like maybe this is supposed to be the front, like this or like this. Okay, so what did I bring with me? And what did I decide to do? How did I, how am I going to do this? I thought, well, I, you know, I make junk journals. I, we like to collage, we like to make clusters, we like to rip paper, <laughs> we like to cut paper. Let's just see what we I can gather up to bring with me on my lunch break today to decorate these cards. So what I did was literally cleaned off my, <laughs> I have a dresser in back of my table and I think I gathered, let's see, was this off from my, I think this is off from that dresser in back of my table where I do my crafting. I just took everything off of there, put it in my tote bag and said, I'm gonna do something with this stuff right here so that's what I brought with me quite a bit of stuff I have some owls here from Maria left I used one of them and I have a couple a few left I have this um, little tea towel calendar and when one of my thrifted videos thrifting videos I showed three of these and this one uh, the other two are clean this one had a dirty kind of like dingy looking up here so I said well you know, I know it probably wasn't a good idea to wash it, but I wanted to wash it. And, you know, I was lazy. I didn't wash it by hand. I washed it in the washer. <laughs> yes, I did. But, and it came out with this kind of ripped area here. So I feel like now, okay, I can't sell this in my Etsy shop. It's ripped up. But, haha, -ha, the perfect opportunity to cut it up and use it. <laughs> so... I'm really anxious to do that. I'm like, look at these little months. I've never cut one up. I uh, have quite sold quite a few tea towels in my shop, and I always just list them because they're so pretty, and I can't bear to cut them up. But this one now has to be cut up because it's torn. <laughs> so I want to cut out one of these months. I'm just dying to, so let's do it. Let's cut it up. 
These are 1985. I got three of them at that antique store I go to once a year. That video where I talked about getting these there. Found them upstairs in that antique store, just on a table with a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. Let's see, I'm trying to think. I think there was some. He's got a couple rooms in that antique store with like. And downstairs, I mean, there's like knickknacks and glassware all over the place. So this was in, this was upstairs in kind of a, a main room. And this is a downtown store. So you know how like the downtown stores have little town, you know, small town type stores have two stories. But this particular, most of the stores don't, you can't, you know, you don't go upstairs. I don't know what's upstairs, <laughs> but this store utilizes the whole thing. He utilizes the whole space. Two stories, every room has stuff in it. So, okay, so let's see what this looks like cut out. I'm just really anxious. There's two little dots here. Let's leave two dots on this calendar and two dots on that calendar. So I think this is going to be a great layering piece here. A little piece of linen, tea towel linen with a, the month on it. And this one has uh, the side. I'm going to leave it like just like this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm just have it ready to go here in case I needed. I wanted a couple pieces ready. Okay, so we did that. Now I've watched, like I said, watched a lot of videos on people decorating cards. So, but I'm going to do it. I'm not going to be like cutting out little rectangles and making stripes. I might do that, but. I want to like take the junk journal approach to these cards, so I want to see first of all what did I bring. I kind of lay it over here and show you what I brought. What I want to see if I can find something that matches this red. They're all red, but uh, you know I didn't use any for Christmas. That would have been a good idea, but I didn't do it. Didn't get around to it. So let's see what's red or what I have. Here's a piece of cardstock that would look good with this. I could cut it in half or have a little opening here. I do want it to be a card though that I can send along with an order and write a little note to my customer inside. Uh, that's going to be my main purpose for these right here. But I want them to be generic also in case I want to send it to a friend in Happy Mail. So just a pretty card is what I want to make, a generic pretty card. Okay, I've got, I'll show you the little bits I have. This is a journaling card that says favorite restaurant. So it could be like this. And it has red on it. That would be pretty. Okay, let's try other colors. Here's a yellow journaling card. That would even look good. Blue, that would look good. Wow. Here's something really cool. Love this. It says on it. And that would look nice too, right? Awesome. I think I'm going to go with. Maybe we better get more than one card out here so I can just like go to town here. <laughs> I'm going to cut these little owls out in a second maybe if I have time today. I don't know. We'll see if we use those. I just brought them in case I had time to cut them out. Let's get a few going here. When something really strikes me, I want to have a card ready. Okay, upside down. Let's put them like this. I am I don't know how these are really supposed to be, but this is how I'm doing it. <laughs> Here's a red. This is like a little kind of a little card that folds in half. could go like that. Or it could go in, inside too. I don't know. I mean, the inside's already white, ready for me to white uh, write on. So I'm going to put this to the side right now. It's a possibility, but here's a pretty note paper I could use. Cut it off here, right here and use it as a background. That would be pretty. That's a possibility. I have a wood tag. A lot of these things I received in Happy Mail, and it's kind of a mixture here from different people. A couple of drawing cards. Here's something with a bird, or some note paper with a bird. And some of this, a lot of this is from Maria, recently sent me this Happy Mail. Oh, here's a little frame. This would be cool. And it has red in it. Let's try it with this. That would be cute. Let's, but we need to put something in the middle, maybe. Yeah, I would say so. So I like this. So far we've got two, but we might be adding other pieces. I'm just trying to see what I have here. Another piece of note paper. I've got some book pages. 
that I could cut out things from. And there was one that was kind of, did I, I might have, I um, was pulling together my Valentine's stuff. And there was one of these book pages that had a heart on it. So I think I put that with my Valentine's stuff. So I don't think I have it here, but like, oh, here's something I cut out. That would be a possibility to put that on a card. That'd be cute. <laughs> That'd be really cute. Okay. So what else do we have? More uh, recipe page from, this is from the cookie. This is from the cookie uh, recipe book that I was using during Christmas. So uh, this is all text, I think. Oh, there's a couple pictures in here too. See, there's some cookies. So those are a possibility. Random piece of ephemera from a Ideals magazine. Some paper that I coffee dyed and blue dye. I mixed it, coffee and blue, on that one. So in case I need some papers. Music paper, in case I need that as a background. Uh, these papers are from Maria, from Maria's Happy Mail right here. Oh, here's a little card. That could be cool. On a card. Uh, put that with my little bits here. Kind of. This is my little bits, but there's some book pages in here, so they're not exactly little. Here's a a film strip or a negative. Some. This is from Maria. Uh, some cardstock, and it looks almost looks like corrugated cardboard. This is really neat. Uh, the sticker tape from Maria that she made. That would be great on something. Let's see. Would that look good on here? Like this. I don't know if those colors exactly go together. I mean, it's almost like you can really put anything together and it usually looks good. <laughs> but I don't know. These are kind of like a more vintage looking flowers and this is very modern looking. These uh, would look how would they, would they fit on a card? They would fit, but they would take up the whole thing. All of these bits and pieces I had sitting around, just like, uh, maybe I'll do something with these. <laughs> uh, flash cards and envelopes, Rolodex cards, no flash cards, a big Rolodex card. Uh, yeah, these are from, some of these are from Maria, and this big Rolodex card's from Aaliyah. Kind of not wanting to use that because they're almost gone. I have like three left. <laughs> Every time I think like they're gone though, I find a few more, but I know where they are. I found them the other day and I was like, ah, oh, I only have a few left. Anyway, here's a bunch of random papers that at one time, let's see, I did not cut these up. They came like this, this size, this one, but then some of these I did cut up like papers, other papers like this that you see in here, mixed in here. So like all these scrapbook looking papers, they came this size. And then the lined and paper, all the, yeah, all these lined papers I cut up. <laughs> so these are from a little notebook that I took out of a notebook. So just a bunch of like uh, pretty much four by six, or like these are a little bit bigger than four by six probably, but a bunch of papers if I need them. Little scrap. Oh, I have some pieces from my calendar, my 2006 calendar. I thought those would be fun. Okay. I just brought them all. <laughs> I had sitting, I had pulled these out to see if I wanted to use them for my purple journals that I was working on. They all have a little bit of purple in them. <clears throat> or colors that would go with those journals. And I didn't use it. I don't think I used any of them. So I've got these out to possibly they were still out, so like I said, I just gathered up everything on my desk and envelope. Oh, this goes with this card. Sorry, I'm putting it up there. I'm kind of spreading things out. More pieces of the calendar here. Oh, here's some postcards I want to cover. I brought those too. That's what started it. I was going to just bring these postcards to cover, and I was like, well, I want to make some cards. I really want to make some cards. I have some paper bags, some other pretty uh, papers here. I have folded in half, but uh, no, they're folded in three parts. There's cutoffs. So those are possibilities. 
So I haven't found anything to put in this little frame. Let me see anything with a. <clears throat> I wonder what a flashcard would look in there. Look like in there. <laughs> it would look kind of cute. I don't know. Almost like a word. I would like a word in there. Almost like the word "thank you" or something. So I might not use this right now because I want to find the appropriate thing to put in there. I could put a little owl in there peeking out, but he doesn't really go. He doesn't really go. He's too modern looking. Well, this one goes, but he's too big. Yeah, he doesn't look, look right either. Okay. All right, let's get down to business here. Anything to go with this. Modern looking journaling card. I have, mm, and it's red, it's black and white and a gold or almost a ro rose gold. So I'm trying to think if I have a, another layer here is what I'm looking for. So let's see, what do I have? Now, a lot of these calendar pages are kind of uh, modern looking. We can kind of maybe use something from here. I don't need to cover up the red, you know. I'm picturing a stripe behind it in a contrast in color. So that would be like uh, black, not contrasting, black's not contrasting, but it could be black or, oh, you know what I could do? Hold on, I know what I could do. Go back to the beginning here. Where is this piece of paper? This right here, something like this or this, uh, paper right here. I'll pull a piece of this out, or all of it out. I think it's connected. It's got a staple in it, yeah. <laughs> Let me see, I don't have a staple remover right here. Let me see if I can get this out. There we go. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at work, and this is a, a spare office in case you haven't seen my lunchtime craft videos before. It's a spare office here at work, and uh, I can come in here and craft. In fact, when I was coming in here, <laughs> it was kind of funny. I was like, I'm going to the craft room. I mean, I'm going to <laughs> the spare office. So let's see. Okay. I'm thinking something like this, just a stripe like that. And then this would be over it. You know, simple, but cute. And... Did I bring my corner rounder? I don't see it here. I guess I didn't bring it. Hmm. That's unusual. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's cut this off. I've got my paper cutter up here out of the way. So let me see. And this little fold will be covered up by the journaling card. Well, let's cut it off right there. Sorry, I'm going to reach over here. Make sure I have it big enough. I'd rather have it too big than too small. Okay. Well, that would be cute. Simple, but it's a card, right? Simple, but cute. Okay, so now I need uh, some glue. And I think I'm going to use my glitter, art glitter glue. So it's right here. Let's get it going. It's another warm day today, which I am not complaining about, but a warm, we've been having a warm week for the last few days over the weekend, and today's Tuesday, so sun, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday have all been warm. And I'm trying to think if Friday was warm. I think Friday was warmish too. But it really got warm over the weekend. So that's awesome. I haven't had to drag out the big coat, just a raincoat <laughs> the last couple of days. Okay, so I said, let's put it this way where I said the fold would be covered up. I think it would be covered up either way. But uh, we're going to do it this way. Okay, I probably put too much glue on there, but I want to make sure it's stuck down good. 
So like I said, I just want these to be generic, generic cards to use for any reason. Anytime I just want to, kind of like a note card, you know. Just anytime I want to write a note to someone, I can use one of these cards and it can be, you know, something that I made, which I think is cool. put less glue on this and see how it does than I did on that piece that I just glued on. Okay, let's see how this does. Alright, kind of, I want it overlapping, but just kind of not, you know, exactly centered. I didn't want this craft piece centered. I wanted it to be kind of like it is up a little bit so I'm just gluing down these two pieces and then I'm going to call it done so there we go a little card made and I can write in there and I have all my envelopes I usually uh, just write the name their name on the outside of the envelope. So I'm not really thinking about decorating the envelopes. I just want a nice little card like that, you know? So uh, let's see this one. If we want to use these people, what do we want to put behind these people? Let's see, how about, this has green on it and there's a lot of green in this page. And this would be kind of like junk drilling it up with this uh, piece of vintage ephemera here. So do I want to do that? I'm going to look at my calendar real quick and see calendar or my other scrap of paper. See what I have that could go in between the card and this. Or maybe I'll find something else to put on the card. <laughs> Let's see, something that would go with red. There's a pretty, pretty ballet shoes here. Here's a little bunny rabbit. Is that a, oh, that's a girl. She's cute. You could do her like this, instead of using this. Cut her out and put her right here. Let's see, how big do we want her though? I might be, I just, just want the purple, you know? I hadn't I hadn't cut any cut any of these calendar pages up, so this will be something different. Let's put this out of the way for a second and get my cutter down here, so I can cut this out. Let's see. Kind of hard to see where to cut on here because it's the way it's. Uh, Designed as far as it's up there <laughs> and over there. But I'm going to I'm going to try to cut. Let's see. Yeah, I'm cutting. That's good. Then I can get get this off and get it in the exact spot that I need it. Maybe. Might have to do it with my scissors. I want to get a nice straight line. It's just hard to see that. It's hard to line it up. It's not hard to see it, it's hard to line it up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it with my scissors, I think. Just hard to line up. I'm gonna save that piece with the little ballet shoes on it and get my scissors and see if I can cut a straight line. I should be able to because there is a line on here to act as my guide. <laughs> so you would think that I could cut a straight line, yeah. That's going to work. Cool. I didn't use the other line because it would, would be too big on the card. So. I have been just had this on my mind to do for such a couple weeks now and I just you know, had other projects, so but I really was wanting to do this. 
Okay, I know it doesn't have any red in it, but I don't care. <laughs> I want to do it like this. I wonder if we can layer anything under here. Kind of junk journal it up, you know? Put a film strip on there. And we could put a little piece of cardstock down here if we want to. I'm going to cut this in half. Let's see. We're going to use a smaller piece. Well, you know what? I'm going to cut it this way. The narrower way. And just cut a little piece off here. To see if we just want to add a little kind of like accent down here. Like that. Kind of whopper jawed. Like that. A little bit of layering. I think that's cute. Okay, now will what do I glue this what do I glue this down with? Maybe some I guess I'm gonna have to use art glitter glue because I don't want to have my fabric tack here somewhere. Oh I have it up in the, because it's a, kind of on its last leg, I have it up there in a pencil holder upside down, you know, kind of ready for me to use. But uh I don't think I want to use it on here. And I don't know if glue stick would hold this down. So I'm going to just use this. I mean, if I ruin one, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> We're just having fun and experimenting here, right? Okay, I'm going to let that. Oh, I want to wipe the extra glue off, but that'll be under the card. So, or under this piece right here. Uh, I do have a my I do have a rubber stamp here, but I didn't bring my ex Can you believe I didn't bring my distress ink with me today? I didn't. I didn't bring it. I didn't want to. I wanted to not deal with it today. I wanted just to go with without distress ink today. <laughs> So yeah, I've never really made cards and uh, just got inspired in the last couple of months. Oh, I need this piece down first. Ah. <laughs> Get some glue on here quick. Okay, I kind of need to know where this is going though. So I'm going to put this kind of in the middle. And this is going to go under the edge here. So I'll just lift this up put it right here. Okay. Push everything down. Try not to get too much glue on my hands. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of rain. It's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's kind of funny because the grass is nice. You know, some of the grass. You know, I mean, there's still brown gra brown grass around. And you know how in winter, in winter, a lot of the gra gra grass turns brown, but uh, a lot of the grass is green because it's been so warm and rainy. So I'm like, wow, flowers are gonna start blooming in January. <laughs> My uh, mums are already growing some little green leaves, I noticed. Uh, I have some mums out by my mailbox. And, you know, they go, they're, uh, what, perennials? So they go away into the ground, I call it. <laughs> uh, being a Floridian, that was new to me when I moved to North Carolina. How perennials go away and then they come back. See, in um, Florida, where I'm from, in South Florida, the f plants, the flowers and things, they just grow all year round. They don't go away in the winter. <laughs> so when I moved to North Carolina, I was like, oh, wow, these things look like they die, but then they come back. That's so cool. <laughs> things Floridians don't know about, especially if you're born in Florida, South Florida. And you just, you know, you never lived in a place where 
see flowers and certain plants go away in the winter. You learn these things when you move to a climate that experiences that and it's very fun to uh, experience these things when you never have like seasons and things like that too didn't you know we, we had cold weather but not like like here like in Florida where I'm from it's just like one day of cold weather and then you're back to warm weather you know okay so this one I'm gonna let dry I can see the glue a little bit drying under there but I think it's really cute junk journal style right <laughs> use some junk on there okay do we have time to make another one I think maybe I can make one more sneak one more in here and then I'm gonna have to go so let me look for let's see what would I like to put on here something else different I've got this paper that's really pretty could use some paper what am I gonna put on top of the paper? These butterflies are pretty. Anything, maybe something else. Here's some cute umbrellas. These are cute, aren't they? These adorable. I like these umbrellas. We could do this. Cut out one of these umbrellas. These are adorable and fun. So I hope this year doesn't go too fast. <laughs> it's January. What can we do to slow it down? Just have fun, relaxing craft times. Not all hurried and stuff. Just like, <sighs> take a deep breath. Let's craft. Take our time. Have fun. Cute, cute umbrella. Okay. That is cute. Oh, I could use this. It has a stripe underneath. Kind of offset it. Uh, it's not straight. Let me cut it straight. Let me cut this straight here. And we'll see if we can junk journal this one up a little bit too. So these are card. I'm trying. My idea was cards but junk journal style cards. That's what I had in my head when I was uh, thinking about doing this. Junk journal style. Okay, I need another stripe for the bottom. So let's cut this one off. I don't care if the color, there's no red in here. I think it still looks cute. <laughs> I don't care. That's really adorable, right? I wonder if I should just put this over here. Even though it's shorter, this one's longer. Or I could switch them up. What would a card maker do? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm not a card maker. Okay, that looks better. I like the long one on top. Long one on top, short one on the bottom, and this in the middle. Yep, I think that's it. It's almost time for me to go anyway. I kind of would like to try some glue stick on here just to see if it would work. I don't really have anything to glue on. Actually, let me use one of these paper bags. I'm just going to use one of these paper bags I happen to have with me because, like I said, just cleared off my desk and threw everything in my tote bag. I mean, my dresser is cleaned off right now. There's nothing there except what belongs there. <laughs> it's awesome. But now I'm going to have to clean, clean this out when I get home. But I'll have some new cards. Yay. Okay, so I'm putting this right here near the top. And then this is going to go here. And then this is going to go under here. So let me... Placement. I'm going to put that... I'm going to leave that there for a second. Put some glue on here. And get this placed. So that we can make sure everything is in a good place. 
so right there, kind of, this is going to go under here, and there's a card. Straight, lined up with the bottom of the card. Okay. So we use some bits cut off from that calendar page. And now this is the piece, the umbrella. And you can see I didn't really match the colors. Red and these purple, yellow, and blues. <laughs> and I still think it looks cute. It didn't even really have to match. I mean, I was thinking it was going to have to match. I was thinking I was going to have to find things with red to put on these cards. But I think this is really cute, kind of junk journal style. I mean, we do match things in junk journal style, but, you know... Sometimes we're just using up bits and pieces and see what happens, see how it looks. Okay. So, another cute one. And I'm going to have to go, but I'll show you what we did. <laughs> so cute! Love it! Okay. Let me show you what we did. Three cards. Three awesome cards. And they're very simple and fine and quick, right? So, let me show you up close. Cute, right? That one opens this way. This one, see the little scallops are down here. Opens like that. Neat. And this one. So I do intend to make more of these, so I can come back and do some more videos. I just this is all the time I have right now. And then they, when I send them out, they will go with this pretty envelope. And we have a set that looks beautiful together. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I love it. Okay, thanks guys. I'll be stop being silly and I'll let you go and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching today. Happy crafting.